Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Election Night in America 2025. On this historic night, the states of New Jersey and Virginia will be holding gubernatorial elections, and the cities of New York and Boston will be holding mayoral elections. This is really a test of Andy Bashir's power over the United States and the Democratic Party. He had won his election in 2024 and is the current president, and it is a test of how, uh, of his popularity in the United States. And his approval rating is very interesting as of right now. Just days ago, he was approved of throughout the nation. However, just today, he is disapproved of by two percent. This really is astonishing and this really could affect this these elections even though it just is two points. He is disapproved of throughout the nation of uh, by forty nine point seven percent. Forty seven point nine percent of the nation does approve of him. And that means it is time for the seven PM poll closings in Virginia. In Virginia, the governor's election, it is too close to call. Uh, Ralph Northman, the the Democratic nominee for governor, does have a 10-point lead over his Republican opponent, Di uh, Amanda Chase. Um, this does come after Governor Glenn Youngkin, a Republican, stepped down. And, and I hand it over to Minnesota Predictions. And the polls are closing in the following states, mostly. Um, the most important one is New Jersey. And in New Jersey, it is too close to call. Phil Murphy is losing, and um, Ellen, the Republican nominee, is winning by a landslide, but it is too close to call at the moment. And we can now project that in Boston, Michelle Wu will win re-election in Boston. And Virginia is too close to call, but right now, Northman is winning in a landslide against the Republican nominee, um, Mrs. Chase, even a bigger lead than before. And in New Jersey, it is too close to call. Now, Phil Murphy has gotten a lead and it is becoming more competitive. Uh, yeah, so now we have the poll closings in New York City and we have some updates in New Jersey and uh, uh, Virginia. So let's see our calls. This is a big one. Mayor Eric Adams, this is a little closer than some Democrats would like. His approval ratings have took a real downturn. They went up a little bit in his midterms, but then they went down a little bit. And then we have an update from uh, New Jersey, and we have a major update. Governor Phil Murphy will be reelected to the state house. This is big. This um, this went by three points to um, Murphy back in 2021. This looks like it will go by six points now. And let's check on our Virginia governor's update. Uh Virginia is too close to call with a lead on the behalf of the North one. And I believe we have a major update from Virginia. Uh, yes, uh, this is actually a game because uh, Ralph Norman wins this race. It's actually a game because Glenn Youngkin is not eligible to run for another term until 2020, 2026, uh, 2029. Uh, so... That means that this is technically a gain. It looks like he will win by two points. Um, this proves that um, Andy Bashir still has a grip on the nation for just right now. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, remember to subscribe to all our channels. And um, it turns out this is actually going to be a series. So I think we're going to do, I'm not, we haven't all agreed to this, but we've talked about that we're going to do the next five presidential elections until uh, twenty. 42. So, any last words? Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video, and again, our channels are The Political Chatter, which is me, Election Forecast, who's just speaking, and Minnesota Predictions. We all help with this election night, and yeah, thanks for watching Minnesota Predictions. Have anything to say? Um, we are coming out with a new video of the 2026 20, midterm, so go check that out when yep. it comes out soon. Alright, thanks for watching.